What's up, world? Mr. Magna Ragnarok here, welcoming you back to Metal Gear Solid for the Sovereign LP ears. This is the finale, by the way. Ha ha! In the last video, we managed to activate two of the three PAL keys, and in this video, we're gonna hopefully get to the fourth one and hopefully activate it. So let's just do that. Now the reason why I started back here and not in that hot room area is simply because uh, there are some new things here. Like for example, there are guards in Raven's room now. The last time you fought Raven, uh, yeah. His machine gun is gone and now there are guards in this room. So, you need to be careful when coming through here. Even with the card, you need to be careful because... Ah, uh, crap. Please go the other way. Do not come this way or I will kill you where you stand. Good guard. Good guard. I knew you understand. Anyways, um, I also remember that there are some important calls that we have to make along our way to the boiler room, I guess. Well, let's just call it the boiler room. I don't know the actual name of the place specifically, since I haven't really looked. But, let's just call it the boiler room, since it's so hot in there. I'm gonna punch these ravens. Up. Oh. Snake, we're not paying you to be a scarecrow, you know? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I forgot colonel makes that kind of call if you punch these ravens he'll actually call you like that uh something else i should say um that's kind of also a mistranslation of the text because the game says those are ravens but the colonel says we're a scarecrow so that's what i i don't get that are they crows or ravens make up your mind Snake, game. it's about naomi hunter then you should talk to the colonel he's looking into it turn your monitor off Okay, it's off. No one else can hear. Yeah, this is ahead. one of the important calls, Sorry, by the way. But I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox die. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well... Apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay. I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Die vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Well, it seems Naomi really is a traitor. Can't believe it. She's helped us out all this time, yet at the same time, she's been working for the terrorists behind our backs. Isn't that just lovely? 
Okay, I know for a fact there is a camera over here. I see you up there, you dirty whore. Oh my god. I'm sorry for calling you a dirty whore. Don't kill me. Uh. Dirty bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that camera was just a jerk. You know, that camera reminds me of the dummy robot from the Iron Man movies. <laughs> when you when you look at it that way, he kind it kinda does. <laughs> I mean come on, it, it has it has practically the arm if you look at it from its gun. <laughs> uh, uh I just realized that. Uh but that camera was no dummy, unfortunately. It was smart enough to know that we are an enemy. Anyways, we are now back in the boiler room. And now I must hide and get my pal key out. And now I wait. Nope, crap. And now I play the waiting game. <laughs> Okay, uh, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit here for about 5 to 10 minutes and then I'm going to meet you guys back at that commander room, okay? So I'll see you guys there in just a moment. Oh, and by the way, if any more important calls or cutscenes appear, uh, I will be sure to show them, okay? So I'll see you guys back in just a moment. Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long. Until I met my big brother. And him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who was he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? 
Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox. No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages. They begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi, I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Uh -huh. The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? Uh -huh. Snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Man, that was some um, heavy stuff there. So, Colonel Campbell, he double-crossed us even further. I apologize if you heard any somewhat barking noises during that cutscene, because my dogs, for some god reason, are barking out of nowhere. Why? I don't know. Anyways, um... Oh god. <laughs> well, that was easy. Okay. I thought that room was going to take me years to get through, but nope. Alright, just throw that shaft grenade and run. Just run. Because, again, we got to be quick and get to that third. We got to basically get to the third PAL panel before this PAL code runs out. Because right now, it may be hot, but trust me, it will go back to normal temperature if you are not quick enough. I'm going to get my FAMAS out, because I know for a fact there's going to be one guard that's going to try and stop you, and there's no way you can avoid him. You have to kill him. Man, what are my dogs barking about? I don't... Like, I don't know if you guys can hear Buster or not. Buster is one of my dogs, by the way. Buster, I don't know why he's barking. 
I know where all reasons I don't know <laughs> anyways uh, we're almost there so hopefully I'll make it in time let's see where are you coming from okay you're going down so that'll give me some time to move ahead all right good now's my chance to get there and get your shaft grenade out, cause we gotta go back through this room again. Now throw that shit. And then get the palky out. Go over here to the third one, the one on the right. And finally... We enter the third and final PAL card. PAL code number three confirmed. PAL code entry. By the way, I'm going to keep quiet for these upcoming cutscenes because they are just epic. No, why? Ready for launch. I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. But once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole. The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Dun dun dun! Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. Now we have to survive. Put the gas mask on. I believe we have to do this. If not... I feel ashamed. Uh, maybe I have to kill these cameras. Let's find out.
Dear God, please tell me I'm not gonna die here. Dear God, did I fuck this up, really? Don't tell me I fucked this up in the finale. Wait a minute. How did I do this before? Hang on. Wait. Oh, no, get your C4 out, Snake. Snake! C4! Thank you. Seriously, I can't put it on the door? <sighs> Motherfucker. I'm pretty sure I did this wrong. Yep, I totally did this wrong. Yeah, I totally did it wrong, viewers. Motherfucker. Shut up, Colonel. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, let's see. Do I still have the PAL key on? Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, first off, get rid of these cameras so they don't bother us. Hold on, Nikita. I don't care if I took damage, I want that Nikita, or I want those cameras gone. Ah, there was one camera right there. Sneaky son of a bitch. Okay, now that all the cameras are gone, let's try this again, but with less dying. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this part out, so I'm not gonna make you guys see this again, okay? So, let's... Um, okay, well, we're back here again, so... Um... There aren't any cameras in here, but... How? How? I forget, how do you do this part? It's been so long. Okay, think, Connor, think. What do you have? Get you out of here. Think very carefully, Connor. That's it. You have to call Otacon. That's what it was. I figured it had to be someone with a code deck. Snake. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, if you try saving when you're in situations like these, uh, Mei Ling will have different things to say. Do it for me, Snake. Uh, okay, I'll I'll do it for you. Okay, so now we basically just have to survive. If you did get the gas mask like before, then you will be fine. Otherwise, you could be screwed here. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the
the door. Okay, thank you, Otacon. Thank you. That's what you were supposed to do. I deeply apologize for not remembering that stuff, viewers. Uh, um, okay, well, use a ration. Come back here. Pick up this ration. Alright, we're good. Let's do this. As you can see on the map, there is one person out there. One little blinking dot. Wonder who that could be. <gasps> Liquid! Alright, I'm going to be quiet from here on out, viewers. Just telling you that right now. Because these next cutscenes are going to be epic as hell. Liquid! Snake! Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox die's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be, but that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. You're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive gene. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah! Snake! Your blood will be the first! 
to be spilt by this glorious new weapon. Consider it an honor, a gift from your brother. Now I'll show you the power of the weapon that will lead us in the 21st century. It's moving. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 